I hope you are ready to get into that activation and that mobility. We are going to be starting in the center of our mat in a standing position. Let's lengthen that spine, draw those scaps down that back, activating that core. Let's inhale and exhale. We're going to lift our left leg off the ground. We're starting in a single leg standing position with that left leg in that high knee. I want you to Draw those scaps down that back. Draw that belly to spine and we're going to hold for 10 seconds. And while we're holding, I want you to use your foot, that arch of your foot, lift it off the ground, applying pressure of your heel and the ball of the foot while that arch is lifting. And we've got another five, four, three, two, and inhale and exhale, extend and hold for 10. I want that activation of that left glute max to be working and I want your arms and legs to be parallel to the ground while that right glute is stabilizing. And another five, four, three, two, and slowly back, lifting into that high knee for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and last one, we're going back into that standing Superman hold. Please make sure that you are stabilizing and controlling that right knee as you're stabilizing, making sure those hips are aligned. Let's go for another six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lifting yourself up and changing over legs. We're slowly going to inhale. And on that exhale, lifting that right leg up into high knee. Remember, we are lifting those arches, arms in a T position and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And slowly leaning forward into that Superman hold, arms and legs parallel to the ground while that other knee is stabilizing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly back up into that high knee, drawing those gaps down that back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and last 10 second count, keeping that stability and that activation for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and slowly back up. We're going to change back over onto that right leg. We're going to lift left leg off the ground, drawing scaps down the back. We're going to inhale. And on that exhale, we're slowly going to lean down. You're almost pretending like you're sitting down. And with that opposite hand, you're going to toe touch and when you're lifting you're drawing through that heel up to that knee using that glute lifting up and back into high knee and we are going to do six of these slowly controlling down that's two back into high knee and while we're doing it we are pulling our arms up into that t position drawing through that heel using that glute and four, and last two, back straight, and five, and six. We're going to stay in this single leg hold position, and that knee up hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, we are rotating our knee out to the side and almost stepping over that little imaginary picket fence that's in line with our stabilizing knee to lean back into a lunge position. While we're lunging, you're pushing your hips forward, allowing a stretch down that front part of your hip and slowly lifting up, transferring your weight onto that front foot and lifting and rotating your leg over to do a forward lunge and holding and slowly controlling yourself up. I want you to use your strength and not momentum to stabilize and holding, allowing that stretch and slowly controlling over. 
that's two. We're doing four and up and slowly controlling yourself over and back. And we've got one more. After this one, I want you to really focus on that hip mobility. Look at my legs. I want you to see that 90 degree in my hip and my knee. I don't want you leaning too far forward. You've got to work that quad of that back leg. One more on each side, controlling yourself over, over that picket fence and leaning back. Allow that stretch and controlling over. Last one in the front before we turn over to do that other leg and slowly up and back over to change over. Let's inhale and on that exhale, lift into that high knee and we're slowly going to do six single leg toe touches, drawing through that spine, leading down and toe touch. And that's one, back into high knee, slow and controlled, making sure that those arches of your feet aren't falling and two, keep going and three we almost halfway and leaning down controlling and four we've got two more before we go into our 10 second hold and slowly down and all the way up and last one all the way down and back up and holding for 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and inhale. And on the exhale, slowly rotate that knee into a reverse lunge position over that imaginary picket fence. And that's one. Leading up through your heel, controlling using your core, quads, and glutes to get yourself over that picket fence into that forward lunge and all the way up and using your strength not momentum to control yourself over that's two and while you're doing that remember to try and get that stretch into that front part of your hip flexor and we've got two more after this one please don't let gravity pull you down when you're going down or momentum to pull yourself up when you're going up and that's three, allowing that stretch, keeping those gaps down your back, keeping that good posture. And all the way up, controlling yourself over and all the way down and forward. And this is your last one and controlling yourself up and over that picket fence. From here, we're going to walk ourselves to the end of that mat and we are slowly going to roll our chin, then head, then neck and chest all the way down into a rounded C curve. Allow that spine to stretch out. And we're going to hold and slowly Walk your hand to the center of the mat. We're going to rotate that tailbone out towards the ceiling, allowing a stretch down the back part of your hamstrings, pushing those heels into the ground. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and inhale on that exhale. Bend that right knee and we're just going to walk our calves out. Allow that stretch down that calf. And pushing both heels into the ground, rotating that tailbone for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're slowly going to bend those knees. We're just going to keep them hovering off the ground for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one. And we're going to slowly walk ourselves forward to the end of the mat in that extended plank position, drawing belly to spine. And we're going to hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you can, keeping your legs and knees exactly where they are. But if you do struggle, we are going to bend into a modified position. We're going to go into those extended plank chest touches. So inhale and exhale, one and two and three. Making sure you are stabilizing when you go from side to side. And let's do one more on each side after this one. And one and one and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bending those knees and leaning down into rest position. Just allow that stretch to go down your back for five, four, three, two, one, back up, inhale, exhale, lift right leg off the ground, then left leg, and we're going to toe tap, and inhale, exhale, lift right leg off the ground, exhale, toe tap, and one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, straight into knee tucks, and one, and extend, and two, and extend, and three, and extend, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and down, and lifting left leg up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, keep going, seven, eight, nine, and 10, and knee tucks, and one, and extend, and two, and extend, three, four, keep going, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, dropping that leg down, dropping knees, and leaning into that rest position. We're slowly going to lift back onto our all fours. We're going to hover those knees off the ground and we are going to do open clams while we maintain positioning of your pelvis. Inhale, and on that exhale, lifting knees off the ground for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and inhale. Exhale, squeeze those knees away from each other and back in. You're just using your glutes to pull those knees away. That's two and three and four. We're just doing eight, five, six, seven, and eight into eight chest touches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dropping those knees down and leaning into that rest position. We're going to do that set one more time before we turn over onto our backs. Let's inhale. And on the exhale, hovering those knees off the ground for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, exhale, open those knees and back in. That's two. Using your glutes, three, four, five. Keep going, six, seven, and eight. Inhale. Exhale, chest touch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, eight, after this one, nine, and 10, dropping those knees and leaning into 
that raised position, pushing those shoulders into the ground. We're slowly going to turn over to place ourselves in the center of the mat. We're going to extend those legs, ankles in line with our hips and shoulders. Keep going, everyone. I hope you're managing. This is all worthwhile. It's worth it to maintain that good strength and activation. Let's place our hands in front of us, pointing those toes. We're slowly going to inhale. And on that exhale, slowly roll ourselves down into a rounded C curve and reaching as far as we can, pointing those toes, allowing a stretch down the front part of your shins and reaching. And five, four, three, slowly rolling yourself back up into a seated position. And you're going to point your toes towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, roll yourself down, pushing those knees into the ground and emphasizing that toe point as much as you can to get a stretch down the back part of your body, down your back and into your hamstrings and those calves. And slowly back up, stacking that vertebra, pointing those toes. We're slowly going to roll ourselves down all the way onto the mat, extending arms overhead and reaching and slowly bringing arms to your sides. We're going to bring our feet a foot and a half away from our glutes and our ankles and knees a fist width away from each other. We're going to suck in that pelvic floor and we're going to inhale. And on that exhale, roll that pelvis up towards the ceiling, squeezing those glutes and digging those heels into the ground. We're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I want you to feel that glute activation into your lower part of your glutes, going down into those hamstrings. We're slowly going to inhale. And on that exhale, lifting right leg off the ground and lifting both arms up towards the ceiling. We're slowly going to extend arms overhead while we toe tap with our leg on the exhale. That's one and two and three. Keep going. Four, five, six. Keep going. Seven and eight. From here, keeping that leg exactly where it is, we're slowly going to lower and lift those hips. While we're lowering and lifting the hips, we're dropping our arms into T position. That's one and two, controlling, and three, and four, and five, six, and we're gonna go into a 10 second hold after this, seven and eight, arms in the air, knees aligned and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, dropping that leg down, lifting the other leg and inhale, exhale, toe tap while we lower those arms and one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And keeping that knee where it is. Inhale, exhale, lower those hips. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Using that glute, you should be feeling a nice burn into that stabilizing leg and extending that knee and holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one dropping that leg dropping those hands lifting those hips to slowly control yourself back onto the mat drawing belly to spine we're going to inhale and on that exhale lift right leg into tabletop then left leg drawing belly to spine lengthening yourself you're slowly going to place your hands behind your head interlacing them comfortably with one another we're going to inhale and on that exhale rolling head neck and chest off the ground and slowly back down that's one all the way up and two we're doing eight of these three four and five six seven we're going to stay with our head in the air scaps off the ground and while we're doing that we're doing single leg toe taps and one two three four five six seven and eight into double leg inhale exhale toe tap and one and two and three four five six seven and eight and last one we're inhaling exhaling rotate right elbow to left knee while right knee extends that's one and two and three four five six seven and eight back to tabletop rolling head neck and chest back to the floor and hugging knees to chest and holding inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and one more inhale and exhale we're slowly going to draw our feet to the floor drawing scaps down our back we're going to inhale and on that exhale rolling our hips up towards the ceiling we're going to keep our hips in the air we're going to dig our heels into the ground and activating that core we're going to squeeze and we're going to inhale and on that exhale draw our knees away from our from each other making sure that our pelvis and our pubic bone stays exactly where it is you don't want that hip to drop keeping that core tight i want you to feel a burn and an activation into here and if you aren't it means you aren't activating correctly just make sure that you are working those muscles and that you're not just performing the movement and let's keep going let's go for another five and one keep holding squeezing those glutes and two keep going and three and four and five and knees in keeping those hips in the air we're going to slowly lift our right leg off the ground into tabletop and extending and we're going to hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 tabletop drop that leg lifting other leg up into tabletop extending and holding for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 one bringing that leg back to tabletop dropping that leg lifting those hips to slowly roll yourself back down we're going to inhale and on that exhale lift right leg up into tabletop then left leg up into tabletop i want you to place both hands on your right knee you're going to draw that knee towards your chest but as you're doing so i want you to resist it by pushing it with your hands allowing an activation down that right hand part of your core and while you're doing that you are lowering that left leg down and up we're going to do eight counts that's two inhale up exhale down that's three 
keep going and four and five you want that burn going all the way down don't brace lengthen through that spine allowing that good clean quality activation let's change over to the left knee inhale exhale lower that right knee that's one and two and three make sure that lower back isn't arching while you're lowering four slow and controlled if you have to you can just do a toe tap like so let's do two more that's one and two placing one hand on each knee activating and putting those knees towards your chest while you're pushing them away for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one slowly keeping knees where they are bringing arms overhead we're going to inhale and on the exhale lift head neck and chest as well as arms off the ground and bring your arms to your side lengthening those legs and activating that core for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and slowly coming down hugging knees to chest for 10 9 8 7 6 5 four three two one we're slowly going to place our right ankle on our left knee and hug that knee to chest and we're just going to stretch out those glutes for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one drawing that right leg onto the floor extending that left leg up towards the ceiling pointing those toes we're going to allow a stretch down that hamstring for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and pointing those toes towards your nose allowing a stretch down your calf for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one we're going to place that left ankle onto that right knee and place our hands behind the back of our right knee hugging that knee to chest for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one drawing that leg down onto the floor extending that leg up towards the ceiling pointing that toe for ten nine eight seven six five four three four three two one pointing toes towards your nose for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and slowly drawing that leg onto the floor i hope you're feeling strong and activated and stretched out looking forward to seeing you in that next video